everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do something amazing. Mm. I wanted to do something very exciting. So I wanted to showcase the most common things you will find in an Arab or Egyptian household. Where's one? Let's go! We don't have other things to do. <laughs> Annoying kids. <laughs> no, the first thing that you will find in an Egyptian household is right over here if you will follow me this way, this way. And that is a leash. I put my silver and cups here. And it came with the table. Wallahi <laughs> Wallahi <laughs> this is serious. So the number one thing you'll find is a niche. It's full of silverware and cups that we're not allowed to touch on a daily basis. Yeah. It's only for special guests. So I have never ever used anything in this niche that my mom knows of. The second thing that you will find in an Arab household is the chandelier from Cristela's Four. We have these mini chandeliers all over the house. Wow, Egyptian. We have one right here in our dining room. The number three thing that you will find in an Arab or Egyptian household is right here, a collection of shebeshes. Whether they match or not, you will find all types of sizes and shapes. And you will never find a ship ship upside down in an Arab household. I hope bad luck. Sign of bad luck. No wonder why. I've been having all this bad luck lately. Mm. Okay, so the number four thing you will find, we are in our basement right now, and these are luggages that are going to Egypt that are full of clothes here. that we're sending back home. We have Zakayev right here. Just all this random clothes that we're taking back. These used to be mine, I'm giving them away. Here, here, new things. All these clothes. Egypt, Egypt. All of you. All these beds are. We have all these forms. Show me that velvet thing. This? Is that mine, Mom? No. Oh my god, these are like so in style right now. Throw that over here. Um, and then we have all these bags in the back that are already packed with clothes that we don't want and we're sending back to Egypt. Yeah. The number six thing you will find. Come here with it. This is actually dedicated to my dad and his lovely inventions. You will find a remote that has lasted for 20 years with rubber bands and tapes on it because we don't let anything go to waste. The next thing, the next thing you'll find in most Egyptian households are decorations like these. Regardless of religion, we love to put God throughout our house. These decorations are so common in Egypt. We have this Allah one over my sister's bed, and of course it has some chandeliers right next to it. So the next thing that you will find in most Arab households. Assortments of teas, different types of teas. This is loose tea. I don't know what kind of tea this is. Mint tea. Another type of mint tea. We just like to stock up on teas in case any type of disasters happen. We need to make sure that there's 10 years worth of tea in the house on deck. The next thing you will find is... Oh, it's already broken. It's a broken No, it's not broken. Oh, the it's broken. No, the, zip <laughs> the zipper is broken already. But you will find an assortment of sewing items. Uh, the buttons. I always keep the buttons. You don't know when you will need one. Here. I don't know how you find any buttons in this, but this my mom has had this for years. From ages. And when you get some clothes, you have to keep the buttons here. Maybe you will need them. Oh, yeah. look what I found. Yeah. Hair bands. <laughs> what is that doing in the sewing kit? This is what I found. Yarn. Whatever you need to sew. I think this is from my first coat in the United States. This is like from 35 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not normal. I want to thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope this was very informative. I hope you guys know what to expect when you go to any of your Egyptian friends' households. And this is something you can relate to. If you enjoyed this vlog, please do not forget to like. 
comment. Comment. She never gets it. She never gets it. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching.